I'm going to pull this thing. Increase the likelihood of success doing this. So we've got this um, dead elm tree. We're going to try and fell it into the field. Um, this is what we're dealing with. So we've got the room, but there's this wire that runs through here. So I'm going to have to take off a few of these lower limbs and this limb here and the lean it's pretty much this direction but it would clip this wire if I send it with the lean so I'm going to have to I'm going to have to I'm going to have to wedge it and get it to go left parallel with the hedge so this could be a tree fail let's give it a go Anyone coming still? I'll have to sort that out. Yeah. If someone tries to walk past, just kindly ask them to wait. busy down there, loads of potholes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get make a little roadblock, and so cars can stay out my way while I'm dropping a few of these limbs and doing the final back cut on the fell. But that should be it. It's touching there, so I'm really going to have to get this way towards that tree to even have a chance of not clipping that wire. Um, pretty ridiculous really I, I might what might be a good idea is maybe putting a strop or a sling around this and, and tying it to that tree and then we're pulling the wire away just to give us an extra two meters maybe that might be a good idea because even bits like this ivy if they're over that wire that could pull the whole thing down I might give that a go after I've uh, cleared this low branch. <coughs> so I'm in this sycamore now. I'm going to pull this thing. It gives us way much more clearance. I'll just put a sling around the stem and then a side strap pulled that wire way out the way. It was touching here. And I've got it two and a half metres maybe. That'll give us some extra room. I think we're ready to fell. So I'm just going to take this limb off, it'll narrow it because I'm worried about when I'm felling it it's going on the road and the hedge even though we will block the road when we're felling it I've also put a spare line in there so I can actually get up and get that off spare climbing line Yep! yep.
Yeah, I'll have the pull line, yes, thank you. I'm going to put the pull line in here. I'm not going to choke it here because I'm worried about slipping it off, even though we're only pulling by hand. Um, but most of the work is going to be done from the wedges. Um, the pull line is kind of like a last resort if, for whatever reason, it's not wedging and a little man, man pull. It gives a bit of manpower to get it over. Um, I'm not going to choke it up here. I'm going to run it down to something more solid and choke it off down there. Um, so it's high enough to give us some leverage, but it's not just going to snap off. See how dead it is. I'm mad that that's just the prep work. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's get our workshop cleared a bit, get everything out the way in its place. What's it looking like? It's more likely. Yeah. A lot more likely. Now you've talked about that, it looks like it looks like it leans more that way now, doesn't it? It's all about the good proper golf cut now. It's a shame that that fence is uh... increased the likelihood of success doing this. I think that would be okay. From your perspective, do you think that would be fine? Or do you want me a bit more left? The, the more I go with the lean, the easier it will be to go over. If I go too far left, I'm fighting the lean then. I think that would be okay. <laughs> Take my time with this back cut, I'll get a wedge in. Yeah. I'll see what the wedges will do. And then I'll cut a bit more and go from there, keep doing it, repeating that until it's over.
Not bad. Could have followed through at the end, thinned it out, but I wanted to keep the hinge and it was going, so. Yeah. 